hello everyone this is asmr if today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today i'll show editing which is a vintage effect in a photos and this image i downloaded from the deviantart.com and i'll show you how to edit this one okay and after that just i'm dragging this one and put it in a photoshop and after that just okay I'll make a copy by pressing Ctrl J and make another two copies of the layer. Here is the name of this layer DD for Dodge and BB for Burn. And just turn the off B D layer and select the B layer. Make the blending mode and skin. Go to the right button, press the blending options, and you'll get a slider which is for the shadow and highlight. I'll find out the highlighted area from the image and I'll get it okay and press the alt button and divide this one and adjust with it okay that's good and hit the ok button in future if you want to adjust this one please place just double click over there and just adjust the lights okay okay hit the ok button after that mask this one and go to the image and apply image and hit the ok button after that select this d layer and go to the blending mode in the multiply and just press the right button in the blending options from blending option just find out the shadow areas okay and press the alter button and divide this one and and hit the ok button after that just mask this and go to the image and apply image in this case just click the inward option and hit ok select this tool here make it group and dv dv for dodge burn and just mask this one go to the image and apply image in this case just uncheck this one and hit ok you'll get a subtle change in your photo it will help you to find out the shadow and highlight it and this one is a touch burn process okay select this two layer making it group and making it merge by pressing ctrl shift alter e okay and then go to the filter and the camera filter now i'll do the color correction of this photo i'll add some exposure a little bit add some contrast and highlight i'll reduce press the alter button and the highlight this one okay okay like that okay shadow add some shadow like 16 that's good and the whites just press the alter button and when you are getting dots in a skin you just leave it and blacks when you are getting uh, minimum dots in your screen just leave it okay that's good and after that go to the effect and add some vignette like that that's good and go to the hsl option from the hsl option i will reduce the saturation okay saturation of green actually and luminance of green i'll reduce okay now i'm turning on the before and after options this one is our before one and now after one okay after that just I'm going back okay after that uh, just going to the camera calibration and adding a color like that I'll work with the primary green I'm making green this one and desaturate and just adding some primary red for the face and again i'll go to the hsl option and reduce the blue color luminance for the dress color and aqua also and from the hue i'll change the hue of green and give like that and giving some blues like that okay that's good going to the sharpening option add some amount of sharpening and add some luminance of noise reducer 
luminous of contrast and color okay after that i'll go to the curves selecting here in i'm in the rgb mode and point options and adding some grammar like that and just controlling this one a little bit that's good and going to the blue option selecting here another dots and adding the blue okay that's good after that hit ok you'll get a nice effect from the image like that the vintage image vintage effect okay after that i'll go to the adjustment layer and color lookup from the color lookup i'll find out the foggy effect from the foggy effect i'll reduce the feel of this foggy effect 15 percent is good and reduce the opacity and make it 50 or 50 percent and select these two layers and making it group making it merge and after that i'll go to the file and place embedded option from the place embedded option here is some uh, light collection and i'll give you the light from there and uh, here is uh, some light effects and i'll use this one and hit the place option and i'll rotate this one and making it bigger and placing over there for the lens flare and restylize this one go to the filter and blur options and gaussian blur a little bit gaussian blur you can add and hit the ok button and going to the blending mode in skin okay that's good that's nice actually okay selecting this two layer making it group making it match after that going to the filter and the nick collection color effects pro from the nick collection color effects pro i'll add some effect from the uh, this palette uh, lots of filters i'm i'm using the cross processing filters and here is many effects or many filters you can use any kind of effect from there okay this one is good and hit the ok button I'll just remove the fill a little bit for the before and I'll merge this one okay. okay that's good and I'm going to the adjustment layer again and going to the color lookup from the color lookup I'll add this horror blue color and opacity 8% okay making all the things in a group and making it merge let's see what was the previous one this one is our previous or ungraded photo and now after edit this one you are getting this nice effect nice vintage effect okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please feel free to do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend and i am in signing out and bye bye